Hi, I'm Robert Reeves, Liquid Base CTO. Let's talk about MongoDB. Founded in 2009, Mongo is the most widely used NoSQL database. Built to be a schemaless document store, MongoDB easily persists JSON objects and is considered a developer-friendly database. Unlike a relational database, which requires you to create your schema first, MongoDB will use any document structure the application sends. However, this creates challenges with administering MongoDB. Because of these challenges, MasterCard chose Liquibase as a platform for their MongoDB change solution. By open sourcing their Liquibase contributions, all MongoDB users can benefit. The entire Liquibase community is beyond grateful to MasterCard for not only identifying these challenges, but also solving them and sharing them. This is proof of the power of open source. In this video, I will show you how Liquibase can create new collections, documents, and indexes in MongoDB. I will then show you how Liquibase can support MongoDB regardless of where it is running. The two examples I will use today are MongoDB in a Docker container and in Atlas, MongoDB's cloud offering. Let's get started. So what I'm showing here is the GitHub repository for the Liquibase MongoDB extension. I have already started my Docker container here. Uh, Docker run, I'm exposing the ports. We're just running the latest and greatest Mongo. And the next thing I wanna do is we're gonna go ahead and start up Compass and connect to that. We're gonna be using Compass to show changes that we're making to Mongo with Liquibase. So we're just gonna go ahead and connect. And as you can see, I don't have, um, I just have the default databases here, and I'm gonna create uh, my own, um, a new database and a new collection. So we're just gonna use Liquibase, and the collection name is Towns. And we'll create the database. And uh, we can go ahead and see the collection here. Now, the next thing I'll show you is where to find Liquibase uh, MongoDB documentation. And one of the things I want to highlight is down here is the MongoDB command examples. These are um, the things that I'm going to be running through today um, in my change sets, local based change sets. Um, so let's go ahead and go to my change log. Now I've already created these. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm commenting out because I'm going to commenting out the ones on the bottom because I'm only going to run through these one at a time and highlight what we're doing. So the first thing we're going to do is just insert a document, insert one. Um, and we'll go back to uh, the command prompt and I will run local base update. And so uh, it inserted one document. So if I go to compass, and I go here and we'll select, um, where is refresh? Oh dear, do the whole thing. There it is. Um, and so we'll see that we have one document in there um, and we'll see um, all this stuff. And this matches up with what I did on my change log. Uh, now I'm going to, um, there's a number of uh, change sets here and so I'm going to share the gist, uh, either as part of the description of this video or uh, in a comment that I'll send so you can find this. Um, but um, one thing I do want to uh, share with you is the liquibase.properties file. Um, again, this is listed in the MongoDB documentation we have on the Liquibase site. Uh, very sim simple um, URL. We will get into something a little more complex with Atlas uh, in a bit. Um, but I changed, added that one change set, and we'll see that it's going to run another one. Now notice it didn't run change set one again because Liquibase marked that as already run. Um, how, do you, uh, how does it know that, you ask? Well, um, here we go. We have uh, in database change log, uh, you'll see that we have a, uh, a list of all the changes that were um, added uh, or run against Mongo. And so what we'll see on this one is if you go to change log, you'll notice that we're adding more than one. So insert many. Okay. And if we go back to compass, 
um, we're going to see um, that we've got a few there, uh, uh, two more there. Um, all right, well, let's go on to the uh, next uh, change set that I had. And this one is we're going to create a collection. Um, and this one is going to add uh, uh, create a collection called countries. And we're also going to insert a number of documents um, at the same time. Um, and so what I'm trying to highlight here is that you can batch your commands up uh, for things that uh, make sense collected together. Uh, we ran number three, and so we should see, uh, if we go over here and uh, hit refresh, we'll see that we have countries here, and we have our uh, three um, collection members that we've added. That's pretty cool. Um, so let's go ahead and do the next one. Um, and this one, we're going to create an index. Um, this is one of those tasks that um, Mongo administrators are going to be running. They're going to be creating and removing, uh, creating, changing indexes. Um, and this makes it a lot easier. So we're going to go ahead and do update. Now, I'm doing a very simple index here, but you can, um, all the options that are available to you are, are certainly available uh, within, or available to you with MongoDB, doing it in Compass or scripting it, are available um, with Liquibase as well. So we'll go to indexes and um, we'll go ahead and do refresh. And there we go, we have UI countries. All right, well, that's pretty cool. Um, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do it with Atlas. Um, and so I'm not gonna run through each and every change set individually. I'm just gonna um, you know, run them all together. Uh, but I have to update um, my liquidbase.properties file. And you notice that this, um, URL is a little more complicated. I have my username and password in there. Of course, if that's something that you don't want to do, um, we certainly have another extension for storing secrets in, say, HashiCorp Vault or something like that. Um, and uh, uh, check the documentation for that. But we're going to go ahead and go over here. We're going to take a peek at Atlas. And you'll see that um, I don't have any collections here. Um, and uh, let's go ahead and... Um, Let's go ahead and run this. Okay, all my collections were run successfully. Um, and we're going to hit uh, refresh. And um, it was on countries, correct? The index? And there we go, and we see UI countries. Now, of course, um, you can also remove um, indexes. Um, and so if we go over to our change log, um, we can drop an index here. And we can also uh, drop uh, collections as well. Uh, I'm not going to run that. <laughs> but uh, this is a great way of automating um, your MongoDB changes, uh, especially if you're using Liquibase for another database. If you have a shared data services team that is using Liquibase for other databases, this makes uh, life a whole lot easier for them. And so if we go back here, and we'll see that our index is gone. Thank you very much.